Lon Chaney Jr. took a break from howling at the moon to play Dracula's beautiful son. Although Carnes is undoubtedly a vampire, probably a descendant of Count Dracula. And Gloria Holden's Countess Zaleska made a model daughter for the Prince of Darkness. What do you see in my eyes? Death. So now that you know this face of evil, you can fight him. Log on to amctv.com to play Dracula the Online Adventure Shockwave game, where you can match wits against Dracula and earn points to win one of 100 DVD players. Vampires. Vampires? Vampires. Ha, ha, ha. The Bloodsucker and his werewolf servant are on the loose in The Return of the Vampires, starring Bela Lugosi. Next on AMC's Monster Fest, the classics come alive. You're so lucky. You're still living. So you can watch American Movie Classics Monster Fest, a Halloween movie marathon starring Dracula, Frankenstein, Wolfman, and a regular who's who list of monster superstars. They're creepy, frightening, and only on AMC. It's 60 terrifying movies in five days. All you breeders can also hang out on amctv.com. It'll be non-stop scary with games and contests. And guess what? The sweepstakes to win a deluxe summer vacation. A trip to the world premiere of The Mummy Returns. With limos, red carpets, and movie star treatment. Sorry, pal. You're not eligible. You don't want to miss Monster Fest. I guess I'll be here. But I'd watch if I could. Could somebody call Dr. Frankenstein for me? Very good. I'd like to read some. These are the classics. But what about the other classics? The leading men no one dares speak of. These classics didn't sing, didn't dance, didn't even crack a smile. Yet somehow, they always seem to get the girl. AMC's Monster Fest, the classics come alive. All day, all Friday. This year, AMC's Monster Fest features one of the greatest collections of classic monsters ever. But we'll let the stars speak for themselves. <laughs> AMC's Monster Fest, the classics come alive. The five-day marathon continues. A bloodsucker and his werewolf servant are on the loose in The Return of the Vampires, starring Bela Lugosi. Next on AMC's Monster Fest, the classics come alive. The following is brought to you by the Wide Track Grand Prix by Pontiac. Wider is better. Hurry, let's go. In times like these, I wish I had a Pontiac Grand Prix. Nothing tracks the road quite like Wide Track handling. Why do we step? The Wide Track Grand Prix. I bid you welcome. AMC's Monster Fest. The classics come alive. Welcome back to AMC's Monster Fest. We're on the back lot at Universal Studios, where in 1930, Bela Lugosi filmed his greatest role, Dracula. Well, in 1944, Columbia tried to update and recapture some of that magic with our next feature, Return of the Vampire. This time, Lugosi plays not Dracula, but a different vampire named Armand Kessler, who is freed from his grave in London by a direct hit from a German bomb during the Blitz. Sadly, this was Lugosi's last film role as a vampire in a non-comedy. This is way more information than you actually want. So sit back and enjoy Return of the Vampire. I see you. You can pretend you're not killed to the bone, but you see right through. There's more bona fide terror to come on AMC's Monster Fest, the classic come alive. Explorer Robert Armstrong returns to the jungle and discovers King Kong's playful offspring in the smashing sequel, Son of Kong, next on AMC's Monster Fest. I bid you well. AMC's Monster Fest, the classic come alive. All you do is brag, Kong. You just brag. Oh, hey, welcome back to Universal. 
Dreams are at the studio, home of AMC's monster effects, the classics come alive. You know, when the original King Kong became such a hit, RKO said, oh, let's make a sequel. So they filmed it under a code name called Jamboree. Why? Because they didn't want spies on the set figuring out how they made King Kong come to life. At the time, it was a huge trade secret. Many people, including the critic and variety, thought that it was a man in an egg suit. Duh! The basic ape model was only like 18 inches tall. It was a multi-jointed metal skeleton covered with rabbit fur. It was shot frame by frame, each time being moved very slightly to create the illusion of movement. Amazingly, Son of Kong was finished and released in 1933, the same year as the original. And you know what? It's next on AMC's Monster Fest. Hmm. Son of Kong. Hmm.